I did actually go to school at a private school that was down the road from Columbine. Uh, my boyfriend at the time went to Columbine. And, uh, you know, it was devastating to learn that um, people I knew had died, you know, from news helicopter footage. Uh, that's pretty striking, especially when you're 17. And, and Littleton, Colorado is a fairly um, calm place. Like, you don't hear, you, you don't think of it as a crime ridden area. It's not like, Right now, if you say crime, people think LA, Chicago, New York. You know, you don't think Littleton. And so it really changed my worldview. And, you know, having parents in law enforcement, I was very respectful of firearms because uh, my parents used them for their jobs. And we had guns in the house. I never had an interest in them. I was just like, oh, that's, that's just what, you know, FBI agents use. So for me, with Columbine, it was sort of, first it was like, how did this happen? And then it became, you know, more and more obvious as shootings kept happening and happening. And I would get older, but kids getting younger, even younger children like at Sandy Hook were being killed. And it was like, we are not fixing the problem. Even with um, better first responses to disasters, things like, you know, mass mass shootings or uh, even just domestic violent incident, violence incidences, we've gotten better at that. Our law enforcement personnel have, have synchronized their operations. Uh, we've studied that sort of thing and how to do a better job we still have not tried to fix the fact that guns are so prevalent in society. So it's a really, it's a personal issue for me, but it's not just the mass shooting angle. It's that most shootings are suicides and a huge number of those are veterans. I mean, this is a, this is something that is infiltrating every level of our population. It's not a rich problem, a poor problem, a black problem, a white problem. Like this, guns are affecting everyone. So I'm really in favor of, well, I'm a scientist, I want data. So I've been saying since day one, since I've been running, we need to fully fund the CDC to study the gun violence epidemic. We need to modernize uh, and computerize the alcohol, tobacco and firearms agency's um, uh, gun registry. Right now it's papers in file boxes, like, and one, one person is responsible for all of that. So very, very clunky to try to use for any sort of information gathering. And then um, we really need to make sure that we're specific when we say what firearms we want to regulate. People are so worried about their Second Amendment rights being infringed. So you have to say, look, it's center fire semi-automatic weapons, uh, rifles specifically, center fire semi-automatic rifles, so not bolt action or lever action. I mean, and then we want to cap magazines to six for rifles, 10 for handguns. Uh, I really believe that we need universal background check system, close the gun show loophole that everyone talks about, a mandatory 14-day waiting period. And of course, we've just heard that the bump stock manufacturer is not going to make them anymore, but we need to make sure that we, that we ban those. And silencers should not be used. There are earmuffs. People can use those. Uh, and then we also need to ensure that uh, concealed carry reciprocity doesn't happen. Uh, I do not want a state with weak gun laws being able to clear somebody who would never get approved in our state to have a firearm. So that is the sort of important thing we really need to do. And people who say we can't do anything Trump's in office, that's wrong. Because when the political will is there, you can accomplish just about anything. And that's all why it's so important to vote for uh, some Democrats this go around, because uh, I think if we get enough of us into office, we will have the political firepower. Huh? Terrible pun, but it w we will have the, the force needed to actually pass meaningful legislation. And, um, you know, if, if we do these things and we are studying it and we see that we don't need certain restrictions, fine, relax those. But we, the only thing we haven't tried yet is to actually reduce the availability of firearms. So let's try that.